Hello children. It's time again for English class. My dear children, today in English class we will be covering a topic from your English grammar book unit 14 in on under behind. All these four words are position words. Let's know more about position words. Position words also known as prepositions. Now what is prepositions? A preposition is a word that tell us where a person, an animal, a place or a thing is. In this way, preposition word connects a noun or a pronoun to another noun or a pronoun. So it's time to do from your English grammar book page number 52, 53, 54 and 55. So children, are you ready? Let's start. Open your English grammar book, page number 52. Time to do unit 14. In, on, under, behind. In this unit, children, we will learn the use of some common prepositions. Let us read this. In, on, under, behind, etc. are prepositions. In, on, under, behind, they are prepositions. That is, they tell us about the place of a noun or a pronoun to another noun or a pronoun. They tell us where a person, place, animal or thing is. Look at the pictures and read these sentences. Here children, in these sentences, we are going to learn the use of preposition in, on, under, behind. Look at the first picture. Now see the first sentence. Let's read. A rat is in the box. Look at the second picture. Let's read second sentence. A rat is on the box. Look at the third picture. Now read sentence 3. A rat is under the table. See the last picture, picture 4. Let us read sentence 4. A rat is behind the box. So children, in all these four pictures, the position of rat is different. And accordingly, we have used the position words in, on, under, behind. Let us see some more examples for the use of in. Water in class. Flowers in bus. Fruits in basket. Fish in aquarium. So here in all these four pictures we can see we have used the preposition 
in why we have used in because in first picture water is inside the glass water in glass flowers is in the vase flowers in vase in third picture the fruits are in basket fruits in basket and in the fourth picture fishes are in aquarium fish in aquarium now children see page number 53 let us see some examples wherein we will learn use of on a glass on table a monkey on a tree a cat on a mat books on a shelf examples for the use of under a dog under the bed where is the dog a dog under the bed a cow under a tree where is the cow a cow under a tree use of behind look at the pictures and read the sentence a cat behind the curtain where is the cat a cat behind the curtain a man behind the wall where is the man a man behind the wall so here the position of cat and the position of man is behind so we have used the position word or preposition behind now children it is time to do the exercise let's start exercise 1 write in on under or behind in the blanks my toys are dash the table where are toys on the table my toys are on the table number 2 There are two pillows dash the bed. Children, where are the pillows? On the bed. There are two pillows on the bed. Sentence 3. There is a line dash the bushes. Where is the line? Behind the bushes. There is a line behind the bushes. Sentence 4. His shoes are dash the bed. Where are his shoes? Under the bed. His shoes are under the bed. Sentence 5. I keep my clothes dash the almira. Where do you keep your clothes? Inside the almira. I keep my clothes inside the almira. Exercise 2. Choose the correct options and fill in the blanks. Number 1. Birds fly dash the sky. in the sky birds fly in the sky number 2 a snake is creeping dash the bed under the bed a snake is creeping under the bed 
Number three, don't throw garbage. Dash the floor. On the floor. Don't throw garbage. On the floor. Number four. My grandpa is sitting. Dash a chair. On a chair. My grandpa is sitting. On a chair. Number five. Cow is sleeping. Dash a tree. Under a tree. Cow is sleeping. Under a tree. Number six. Throw garbage. Dash the dustbin. In the dustbin. Throw garbage. In the dustbin. With this children, we have completed our exercise 1 and exercise 2. Now it is time for fun time at page number 55. Look at the picture carefully and fill in the blanks with in, on, under or behind. Then color the pictures too. So children, here. You have to see the picture and decide where to use the preposition in, on, under, behind. Let's start with the first sentence. Children are playing dash the garden. In the garden. Number two. A child is hiding dash the tree behind the tree. Number three. A girl is sitting dash the mat on the mat. Number four. The sun is hiding Dash the clouds behind the clouds. Number five. An old woman is taking rest. Dash the bench on the bench. Number six. Ducks are swimming. Dash the pond. In the pond. Number seven. Birds are flying. Dash the sky. In the sky. Number eight. A butterfly is sitting. Dash a flower. On a flower. So children, here you have used the preposition or position word in, on, under, behind according to the picture. Let's read all the sentences once again all together. Children are playing in the garden. A child is hiding behind the tree. A girl is sitting on the mat. The sun is hiding behind the clouds. An old woman is taking rest on the bench. Ducks are swimming in the pond. Birds are flying in the sky. A butterfly is sitting on a flower. Children, with this, we have completed our Unit 14 on preposition or position words in, on, under, behind.
Now your homework is to learn and to revise. It is time for today's thought. And today's thought is, believe you can and you will.